Hi, I'm Chef Gail Sokol and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I got a banana problem. I bought too many bananas and they were not ripe when I bought them. And now they're looking a little funky. What do I do with them? Well, I have a recipe for you that's so quick and easy. You can get these muffins. These are banana muffins or they will be into the oven in about 15 minutes or less. Now, before we get started, I'd like you to click that notification button and become a subscriber because I've got great recipes and great tips that you, I know, will learn from and really be able to use them to make fabulous baked goods each and every time. All right, I ended up with three really sort of icky for eating bananas. So I decided I'm going to make, not banana bread, it takes too long to bake, you know, in that loaf pan. I want to make 12 standard muffins. So I have sprayed um, 12 muffin cups with nonstick cooking spray and I set them aside. Now, we are going to use the muffin method of mixing. Very easy. It's two bowls, one dry ingredient bowl, one wet ingredient bowl and you're done. You combine them and you're done. Woo, this is a ripe banana. So I'm gonna take all the peels off. I want about one and a half cups. Now, if you're a little shy, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. If you have a little too much, you don't want too much. So about one and a half cups. I wouldn't go more than like one and two thirds cup, but one and a half cups is really what we're aiming for. And that's about three good sized bananas and maybe three and a half medium. All right, so I'm putting them on a plate. This is my way of mashing bananas. I take a big fork and I just mash, 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 and that's it. You don't have to put them in the food processor. You don't have to put them in a blender. Just mash them. Just mash them. If you're mad at somebody, mash them. <laughs> just think, oh, this is my, my friend or somebody that got me mad. You're a banana now, and I'm going to mash you up. Okay, but it's just a banana, so nobody gets hurt. All right, so we're just going to mash, 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 and make sure that it is mashed. You know, take a look um, and make sure that everybody's in the, in the mash. And if you have that little tiny end of the banana, get rid of it. Get rid of it. My videographer's going, get rid of it. <laughs> and she gave me a thumbs up. Okay. This is going to be a part of our liquid ingredients. So let me get those ready now, since we already have our bananas going. So I'm going to say this looks like about one and a half cups. I've been making these long enough. It's about one and a half cups. Put them in there, just in the bowl. All right. And what I'm going to do, let me just rinse my fingers off. Two seconds. Because they're full of banana, banana. So we're making fabulous banana muffins that literally, it takes longer to bake them than it does to make them. All right. So we have our bananas. I'm going to add one and a half, I'm sorry, two thirds cup of dark brown sugar packed. Putting it right in there. One large egg. All right, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Make sure it's pure, actually tastes better. And this is one third cup of vegetable oil. You can use canola, you can use whatever, whatever oil you feel comfortable with. Some people like coconut oil, whatever you want, use it. Just don't use something like olive oil because you may get a Banana olive flavor, you know, like an olivey flavor, even if it's a neutral olive oil and not extra virgin, I find it's still pretty strong. So get those really whisked up really well. All right. You don't have to worry about any gluten formation here because we don't have any flour. So we're getting that all mixed up. And now I'm going to get my dry ingredient bowl. And here I have two cups of all-purpose flour. Uh, in here I also have two teaspoons. I'm going to put in baking powder. That's our chemical leavener. I have one teaspoon of baking soda. 
and baking soda needs an acid to react to form carbon dioxide gas bubbles to help our beautiful muffins rise. So the baking soda is going to react with the brown sugar because brown sugar is acidic. Who knew? But it really is. And this is three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. All right. So I'm just going to, whoop, I'm going to whisk that up with my clean dry whisk. And then we are going to use our rubber spatula to, to actually combine the wet and the dry because we really don't want to whisk them together. We'll overmix. And overmixing makes tough muffins. I was a judge for a competition, a high school competition once, and everybody was overmixing their muffins. And I tasted some pretty tough muffins. You could have played baseball with these muffins. All right, so now in goes our wet ingredients. Make sure they all go in. And then you're going to mix just until combined. All right. So I'm going to take my rubber spatula and I'm just going to go around until it's combined and everything is mixed up. And I mix long enough that I can't see any individual ingredient. So I can't see the flour. I can't see the banana per se on its own. It just looks like sort of a mishmash in the batter. So what you're making is really an emulsion. And it's all going to work just like a football team or a baseball team. They're all going to work together for that touchdown that we call banana muffins coming out of the oven. All right, so you're just going to mix them up gently. Not too much. You don't want tough muffins. And I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So it has been preheating for about 15 minutes. You always want to give it enough time. In the meantime, I have one quarter cup of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and I'm going to mix that up. I love to top my banana muffins with a little cinnamon sugar. It gets them a little you know, sort of crinkly on the top uh, and almost like they're bejeweled when they come out. They have a beautiful scent of cinnamon, which really enhances the banana flavor. And they're just got a little crunch, a little something to them. If you notice, I didn't put any nuts in my banana muffins. Not everyone likes nuts. So if you're mixed on the nuts, don't add them. If you want to add them, add them. That's up to you. So you do you. All right, so... I have sprayed uh, an ice cream scoop, or you can use a spoon and the rubber spatula. With no I've sprayed this with nonstick cooking spray, so uh, the first couple of muffins are not going to stick. And I'm going to take a full amount and go right in there. And you really want to fill these up. You want a nice high muffin. You should get 12. Make sure they're evenly filled. All right, these are absolutely delicious, and they're so fast. If you want them for breakfast, you could even make your, your batter the night before. Or what I like to do is make my banana muffins ahead of time, individually wrap them, and then store them in an airtight container for breakfast time. I can store them in the freezer, and then I pop them in the microwave. And we can, you can serve them with an omelet. You can serve them with a bowl of cereal and milk, whatever, whatever you want, whatever your family enjoys, whatever your family enjoys. And make sure you get every last bit of batter out of here. No one is leaving this bowl without being in a muffin. No batter is leaving this bowl. See, I'm going to fill that up. Okay, and then you're going to look and you're going to say, hey, you don't have as much batter. We're going to top you off a little bit. All right, that's what I like to do. These only bake for 20 minutes until a small knife inserted, inserted into the center comes out clean. And it's about 20 minutes. Really, 20 minutes. That's it. Super fast. Super easy, so delicious, so delicious. Even if somebody in your family doesn't like bananas, 
ask them to try a banana muffin, this banana muffin in particular. They may be banana lovers. They may not like the fruit in the fruit form, but this is amazing. These are amazing. All right, we're ready to go in the oven. My oven is definitely preheated. I'm ready to scatter my cinnamon sugar over. Don't be skimpy. I'm never skimpy with my cinnamon sugar. If you have a little too much, you can save it for the next batch or put it on something else like toast. Butter toast is good. Yum, yum, yum. It makes cinnamon toast. And then you're going to bake these for 20 minutes, like I said, until a small, sharp knife comes out clean. I'm going in the oven, folks. I'm done. So my quick banana muffins, it's been 20 minutes. They're done. They're gorgeous. I mean, you can't say they're not. I just want to leave my oven open and look at them, but I don't want the heat. Look at that. I've already checked them with a knife. They are done. They're huge. They are amazing. Boop. Look at them. When you touch them, they're firm. They're amazing. So I hope you enjoy these banana muffins. I hope you become a subscriber. I hope you eat one of these for breakfast or for a snack. Until next time.